children. This is where Sarah will sleep. All the beds are marked, dear. So, if you find your number, you'll know where you're sleeping. Off you go, dear. Do you remember your number, darling? 110? A number. Of course, dear. Every girl is. Like the army. Don't worry about me. I know how to look after myself. I know. Joe? I'm relying on you, lad. Don't let me down. Think about it, young lady. You're in enough trouble as it is. With us, if you'll be so kind. That's a definite. I'll give you odds of a hundred to one. No accompanying adult. Poor appearance, weary demeanor. I think you're right. Pincer movement, Mr. O'Donnell. Classic maneuver. You drop off here, approach from the rear. I move ahead, halt, take up a covert position, and bingo. We attack from both sides with maximum effect. Right, sir. Um, to the nice gentleman. 
Gentlemen! Yes, today! You don't have to treat a dog like that. Sorry, Mum, it's for the protection of the public. You see, there's a lot of mad dogs around. Well, you don't have to do it like that. She's right, you know. I beg your pardon, sir? Well, you're upsetting the dog. Oh, I'm really, I'm so sorry. Am I upsetting Diddums? Get up. I'll put her in the van for you. It'll get away from you, Mum. Stop calling me Mum and stand up. I think you should let her try. We'll just have to go through it all over again. Stand up! Here, girl. And take that away. Here you go, girl. Would you please open the doors of your van? I... Don't stand there golfing like a halfwit. <laughs> Yeah, you don't have to treat stray dogs like wild beasts. Very grateful, I'm sure. Thank you, thank you. Show's over. Can I just say, I, I thought you were absolutely brilliant. The rest of us just stood there and you did something. I had a dog like that when I was a kid. Same eyes. What will they do with her? Well, I'm not sure. They keep hold of her for a while, I suppose, and no one shows up. They... Well, they... They'll kill her. I'm sure it's quite humane. Just put her to sleep or something. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. Where is the pound? I don't know, but I'm sure we can find it. My lord, if I may respectfully Mr. Sit. McTaggart, is this the surprise witness the defense has promised? My lord. I take it that is an answer in the affirmative, and I congratulate the defense on producing, finally, a witness who is capable of answering yes or no to a simple question without equivocation. <laughs> have you lost the dog? Yes, we have. Mr. Taggart, whom am I addressing? It's a dog, my lord. You confirm my own suspicions. Well, 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 a dog. Sergeant of the court, what do I want done with it? You wish it removed, your lordship? May I congratulate you on your powers of deduction? <laughs> we'll go to it, man. Startle the dog. She cannot jump from there, so please let the officers do their duty quietly and safely. Come on. There's nothing to be frightened of. <laughs>
told you already. We don't have a collie. Not for a number of weeks, as a matter of fact. I have a whippet and a couple of very annoying terriers, if you're interested. That's them all back, at last. Fancy a cuppa? You were there, the collie. We've come for the collie. We've brought money. We'll pay for her, whatever it is. She escaped. Oh, brilliant. Bloody brilliant. Now we've got to fill in a missing dog report. A perfect record lies and tatters. We don't have a perfect record. Well, we haven't now, have we? You mean she's gone? <sighs> yes, madam, she's gone. Now, if you and your husband wouldn't mind doing the same, my colleague has a report to write. Well, a couple of idiots. Yes. Husband, indeed. Oh, that. Yes. Look. Yes? I don't suppose you'd like to... Too. You would? Most definitely. Good. I'm so sorry about the dog. Sorry? Don't be. She's free now. That's all I ever wanted for her. company toots. Wonder what she wants of us. I think perhaps she wants to be alone. See if Miss Garbo's hungry, shall we? Hey, it's not for you, you greedy beast. You're not a film star. Not yet, anyway. You're no wild dog, are you? There's a tyke. She's shy and canny. And she's slowly coming near. She's as cautious as me granny, but will overcome her fear. Oh. We know a trick or two, don't we, Toots? Let's see what your majesty thinks of this, shall we? There's your dinner, your highness. Eat up.
Come on, Toots. You seem to have made a friend after all. Put it down in the road, and it's no good. Too well trained. Put it down in a bowl. That was the secret. That made it all right. Are you going to have to come along with us if you want any more? I didn't think she liked anything other than the sound of her own voice. <laughs> Did you hear from Dad? No, but he'll be home for Christmas, I'm sure of it. I talk toots. No. Well, are you sure? He's behind you. Where? He's behind you. Oh, oh. <laughs> roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for the terrifying tale of Androcles and the lion. What are you doing up there, toots? Come down. <laughs> We're looking after the children. Who wants to see a trick by Toots, the wonder dog? Me! Up you go. <laughs> there you are. A round of applause, please. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the terrifying tale of Androcles and the lion. Your Highness, if you please. You're doing fine, Your Majesty. You're doing fine. So Androcles found himself alone in the desert when suddenly he heard a strange sound. The poor slave Androcles was very frightened by the lion, but then he noticed something unusual. Looking closely, Androcles saw there was a thorn in the lion's paw, and that's why the lion was so unhappy. So plucking up his courage, he took hold of the lion's paw and plucked out the thorn. The angel Gabriel got a bit of a black eye last year. This year, he'll have a new head. I reckon he'll be all right for Christmas. What do you think? You need to feel the cold, are you? Winter's coming. I think we're not going to make the Riviera this season, Your Majesty. It's time to head back. You like it at home, won't you, Toots? We best get tidied up. Get an early start tomorrow. What the hell is that? It's a bloody midget. Is it now? Or are we looking at a blooming dwarf? What? Dwarves or midgets? You have to be sensitive about these things. Dwarves are richer. They dig for gold. Then let's call it a dwarf. Do you think he'll have it with him? The gold. Let's go and ask the little fella, shall we? Watch your dog, little fella. It's all right. We ain't doing nothing. Quiet down, Your Majesty. Quiet down. Toots. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, you having a cuppa? Isn't that nice? Could you just spare a swallow for a couple of homeless chaps looking for work? Got a fresh caught rabbit we could let you have by way of exchange. You're welcome, friend. Water's almost boiled. Tea's in the wagon. I'll just get it. No hurry. Is there, mate? No hurry at all. Only sorry we missed the show. Big audience, was it? Bet you make quite a killing this time of year. Christmas coming and all that. 
Come on, where is it? The gold. Because if you're nice and hand it over, we won't hurt you. Will we, Mr. S? No. We won't hurt you. Wait, I haven't got any gold. Just tea. So you want it the old way, do you, Littlin? Fair enough. I'm just staying there, getting here after him, you blooming coward! Oh, you little beggar! Stay out of this, Your Majesty! So that I can take care of myself! Oh, you want some of this, do you? Is this what you want? Come on, my little beauty. Now go on! Get out of it! <laughs> what a dog. You see, little fella, even your best friend can't stand by. Underneath the wagon, I'll get it first. <laughs> Snickers, where are you? There's no sign of him under here. I'm aware. <laughs> no. Oh. No. 